Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create a table by using HTML and I also use a little bit CSS. Before creating a table, uh, we have to know some tags also like uh, table tag. Now first we create a file. You can see here uh, so our today's topic is you can see how to create a table uh, uh, we have going to create a table like uh, this you can see here in my screen so first of all we have to know about some tags okay uh, the tags are first we write a table inside the table tag we are going to write table head ta and inside the ta we are uh, going to write the tr uh, it's a word like a row and inside the t uh, tr we have write the th it's like a heading and uh, now i am going to create a t body uh, after t head completed now uh, we have to create a t body inside t body i create a tag tr tag and tr inside tr to create a td in this time uh, uh, we have to create a td why td create because it's uh, it's working like a table data so i uh, in here i we will put a data of information so now let's start uh, i'm going to comment out all this thing you can see here in in the right side in my screen we have going to create like this kind of table so let's start first create a table side table uh, we have to create a two thing t head and t inside tr now uh, i'm going to create th before putting any information inside now i'm going to create a ta table also t body table uh, inside t body i'm going to create tr and uh, td now uh, we have to put a information in th So uh, I have to put uh, some information. Uh, suppose uh, uh, serial number and I also create four more content. Now I will write here full name. position 
well, you can write whatever you want i'm just writing randomly okay. now i'm going to show from live server you can see here serial name full name position and service are created on my html page so i use uh, th th tag because i want the uh, heading so i use you can also use uh, td but uh, it's not like uh, so the heading tag and it and it also not a good practice so it this is the good practice you can use for heading th now i'm also going to create some other contents like uh, td body it's a table data put a serial number it's a serial number now write some random name suppose i write uh, bill gates he is the founder of microsoft and i also write some prices like dollar to billion now i'm going a uh, more table like this so i i copy all the all those things first uh, i'm going to refresh and show the data you can see the data is created serial number 1 full name position and salary so i create one uh, two or three more data now i'm going to copy all the data in the paste after end of the tr and just change the name position and all those things Tim Jobs is the founder of Apple. Now you can also choose the Larry Page. He is the founder of Google. so you can see uh three uh, uh, and also i have to change the serial number now i'm going to refresh or oh, you can see so this is how we can create a simple table but it's uh, not look uh, so good because uh, i also want to add some css so now i am going to add some style it's a cas cascading style set so you have to write over here the style tag inside the style type you just style your table and write table th and td Oh. inside this uh, i have just uh, i if you want to text align then create text align center and now put some border radius border now make them solid black you can also write the border collapse into collapse and you can also add some padding 
wait looks like good now I'm going to refresh my browser you can see here it's uh, look like good uh, I am using test line center so it's uh, all the text are center in the position and I use a border black and border class is a collapse all the border are collapse manually and uh, I use a padding so that it's uh, take some spaces each other Uh, and in the next video I am going to tell about more about CSS you can see here this is my code about HTML this is not the full uh, not the part of the CSS but uh, without CSS you can't uh, style your HTML page so CSS is also necessary so that's all thank you for watching